Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video and in this video we're going to be connecting a Minecraft Java Edition client to the PSP Craft server and actually loading into a brand new world. But before we get started, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're enjoying this content, please go down there, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So getting started here, let's go ahead and take a look as things have gone on. Currently the Raven client has actually received an update to version 0.2 pre-1, which is basically just a client fix, uh, which is going to allow you to do a, a bunch more things with it, uh, and it all it really does is it adds some handlers for packets that I previously didn't have. Now the slightly more exciting one is the login process uh, for the craft server, which is also on version 0.2 pre-1. So if we enter the craft server here, uh, we're going to have to wait for it and connect it to our hotspot here. Alright, it's on the same network as this, and just to verify, I'm not running anything else on my PC except for Minecraft 1.12.2. So let's refresh the page here, and it's going to show us that we're connecting to the server once again. It's going to take a few seconds just to get connected, and right here we have it, is the PSP server. Now if we go ahead and connect to it, instead of what it does previously, right now it's actually going to go ahead and connect right into the actual world itself. Now this is a pretty cool trick here, where we've gotten it to go ahead and basically uh, assume that there's actually a world here when there really isn't. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that we're at position 0, 63, 0, which is pretty logical, uh, and there are no chunks loading in at the moment. Uh, you can go ahead and do clicking and other actions, and you'll see that they will show up in real time on the PSP as I do different things like clicking and stuff like that. Now this is really the meat and bones of sort of the server-side architecture, and one of the things that I still need to do is actually packing in chunks and having in uh, chunks into the actual game. That's one of the biggest things for version 0.2 that I really want to get out for both Craft Server and Raven Client. Now it does time out after a certain amount of time due to the fact that the server literally doesn't handle anything after this. It doesn't do any sort of connections and doesn't do any sort of... Uh, uh, checks that basically the client is expecting it to do. So basically the client is just go going to uh, stop responding and not do anything here. But it still allows you to get into the game and do a bunch of stuff like that. And that's a really cool sort of thing to see uh, being implemented. Uh, the only real th uh, downside is that right now it's not necessarily a really flexible system uh, with the way that everything will work. If I go ahead and turn on shaders and stuff, everything's going to work like that too. Let's go ahead and, wow, now we have a really nice looking uh, Minecraft server on the PlayStation Portable with, of course, nothing uh, to see. It's a really cool sort of uh, example here, and I'm very glad that it's working finally. <laughs> 